saver, detecting the earliest stages of skin cancer. Our medical reporter, Kathy Fowler, is going to show you how it works live all throughout this 5 o'clock newscast today. And she joins us now live from a doctor's office in Northwest D.C. Tell us about this machine, Kathy. That's right. Well, Kathleen, this machine, the camera is actually behind me. And later, Dr. Elliot Battle will take pictures of Sarah and Desiree here that will show them how healthy or how damaged their skin really is. Now, both of these women are young and look young, but the camera may reveal some serious hidden dangers because as they say the camera never lies the first picture don't move Peggy Beer is 51 years old but she wanted to see if her skin was even older due to years of being out in the sun so now I'm going to push the analyze button dermatologist Dr. Elliot Battle uses the Vizia camera to check for sun damage this picture always scares all of us. This is the polarizing light. <laughs> Scary because sometimes it's bad news. The polarizing picture reveals sun damage doctors can't even see. In Peggy's case, see these 32 yellow spots? These could all become precancerous lesions. This picture shows the earliest stages of skin cancer. I thought it was brown spots that you get on your hands and I just thought it was from age. The camera also exposes wrinkles, bacteria that causes acne and infection, and it ranks your skin for overall health. Peggy failed when it came to sun damage, but it's damage that's reversible. The beauty of these treatments is they're non-invasive. With treatments like laser therapy, Botox, microdermabrasion, and prescription skin products, the camera can prove whether or not it's worth it. So I think it gives not only the patient, but also the doctor a measuring stick to really measure from treatment to treatment to treatment if we're improving. After two and a half months, look at Peggy's picture now. Half the precancerous lesions are gone. Now coming up, we're going to take a picture of Sarah behind me. She's 35 years old. Her skin looks flawless, and she totally avoids the sun now. But as a child, she used to get sunburns. How much damage has been done? Coming up, we're going to show Sarah and you live what could be dramatic results. Sounds really interesting, Kathy. Thanks so much. We look forward to rejoining you. Meanwhile, weather to healthy, is it really? We're going to find out live coming up next on ABC 7 News at 5. Good. Kathy Fowler is standing by and she's about to show us now some amazing pictures there. Kathy? That's right. Well, Leon, the Vizia camera is uh, behind me right here and dermatologist Dr. Elliot Battle just took Sarah's pictures. It's analyzing her skin right now. It just takes a second. Sarah's 35 years old. Ob obviously, she has flawless skin or so it appears, but she's going to be finding out her results live with the rest of us. Dr. Battle, what can you tell me about Sarah? Can you pull up her results? Is it finished? Uh, Kathy, I sure can. You know, it, the, the Vizia machine compares her to a large database of women her age and ethnic origin. In terms of wrinkles and poor, she's doing great. She's ranked in wrinkles at 69%, and a poor, she's ranked at 99%. But really surprised us and me is her sun damage. You never expect for Sarah, looking as good as she does, to have 45 invisible wrinkles and 16 visible, I mean 45 invisible spots and 16 visible spots. And that's what all those yellow um, spots are right there, and that can become precancerous lesions, which can lead to skin cancer, right? Each of these spots can become cancer. And so I'm really concerned about Sarah right now because of the, of the amount of 45 invisible spots here. So that's a big deal. What is that saying? She's not using enough sun sunscreen? Well, she obviously has sun damage probably 30 years ago. And now it's very important for her to use sunscreen for the future and also get these spots treated because these all can lead to skin cancer, uh, which is a, a great concern to dermatologists. Okay, Sarah, you're looking at this for the first time. Does yeah. that a uh, little shocking? 45 spots that you can't see. Well, you, you know, a little. I, you know, I scrutinize my face, so I've, I've seen the sunspots that can be seen. I've seen each and every one of them, so I figured I'd see something. Uh -huh. But uh, that's not really a pretty picture of me. Did, were, were you concerned about uh, skin cancer? I mean, yeah, I have been. I've gotten a lot of sunburns when I was a kid, although now I'm, you know, hat, sunglasses, stay out of the sun person. But um, it, and there's some hereditary. Uh, history. So. Okay. Well, great. Well, coming up, uh, we're going to take a live picture of a 25-year-old girl, and we're going to show her amazing results. We'll show you that live. Very interesting, Kathy. We look forward to it. We also want to give you some new information. And it's actually amazing. The camera can reveal wrinkles, bacteria, sun damage, you name it. All the things that can affect your skin that you can't see. 
Well, Kathy Fowler is standing by live in Northwest Washington with more details and more pictures for us. Kathy? That's right. Well, Dr. Harris has just taken a picture of Desiree. Now, she's 25 years old. Obviously, she's young and her skin looks great, but she's a sun worshiper and she doesn't necessarily use sunscreen. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I come from a family with really good genes, so actually I don't have too many concerns. Okay, well, the analyzing and done is done. Dr. Harris, what can you tell me about the results? Well, you know, Desiree, since she's African-American, you'd expect that she'd have, um, her skin color would be more protection in regards to sun damage, but when you look here, I'm going to sort of put a blinking spot on these yellow spots that are blinking are actually her invisible sun damage, and that can ultimately lead to further wrinkles and skin cancer down the line. I guess, and also, can we look at the bacteria? You yeah, I want to take said a that quick, that was an area of concern. Yeah, so we're looking at her porphyrin count, which is a sort of measure of bacteria activity in the skin, and she also has a pretty high number there, wow. so that's shocking given how good her skin looks. So that promotes having a healthy sort of daily skincare regimen um, to um, promote overall health of the skin. Okay, so Desiree, you have concerns about acne, also sun oh, damage. I am completely shocked. I mean, I think people my age just do not understand that you really need to wear that sunblock to really protect your skin and luckily I'm at the right place. Great, okay, and also people of color need to realize that their skin can be damaged yes. as well. Now this test here is a diagnostic test. It is not covered by insurance. It costs about $150, $200, but the important thing about knowing this information is that not only can you reverse the aging process, but you can also prevent skin cancer by taking off some of these skin lesions. Exactly, exactly, and we have a really comprehensive approach here to address all those issues related to skin health. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. All right, well, reporting live from Northwest D.C., Kathy Fowler, ABC 7 News. All right, really thanks,